Hello, and welcome to my new series I like to call Let's Try. In these videos, I will be playing a variety of games, some of them old, some of them newer, some I've always wanted to try but never got around to, some will be from nostalgia perspective, games I played during my childhood, and then some of them will just be viewer recommendations. And depending on how the videos perform and if people want to see more, there's always a possibility that I turn it into a full series on my channel. So today we're going to be playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. It is a super old RPG based off a tabletop role-playing game, I think. It was made by Troika Games and if you know anything about them, all of their games are buggy, incomplete, but also somehow really, really good. And I remember playing this game as a kid, which probably not the best game to be playing. It is pretty, I don't know. The first scene is, is interesting when you're about seven or eight years old. So let's just jump in. Let's uh start a new game. A new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer questions or go straight to the character sheet? Morrowind has this sort of system as well. I think I'll just go straight to the character sheet. The questions are fun to answer, but I'd rather just build what I want. So first you pick your vampire clan, which I assume is based off the tabletop as well. I have no experience with this setting beyond playing this game a really long time ago. 18 years ago, whenever it came out. So, you know, we're, we're gonna look around. We're gonna see what we can be and what sounds fun. So in the past, when I was a kid, I'm pretty sure I always picked Nosferatu because I thought they looked cool. I'm not gonna do that this time. <laughs> I'd like to see more of the world. I'm leaning towards the Torador or sort of the like charismatic talk your way out of stuff kind of characters. I usually end up playing high charisma characters in most RPGs. So I like being able to talk my way out of stuff or unlock secret paths or endings. So I am leading towards the Torador, which are kind of the charismatic, everybody loves you vampire. I think it's a, a coping mechanism. The other one that seems interesting are the Blood Sorcerers, the Tremere's, they're kind of like the spellcasters of the vampire world. Love spellcasters in every game. So yeah, I think, I think we're going to go Torador. Like I said, I just enjoy playing this sort of character in most games. And then we get to the attribute sheet, which if you've never played a tabletop game or an RPG, looks very daunting and I don't really know what I'm doing. Probably should have done some research beforehand, but research is for nerds and we're not nerds here. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? All right, so we're going to get persuasion or charisma up as much as possible. So I know for a fact there are parts of the game where you can't talk your way out of stuff. You have to fight, which is fine. The combat in this game isn't great, but I don't mind doing it. So let's do perception because I want to use guns. I don't really want to do any of the melee stuff. Sorry, we got our charisma as high as it can go right now. Perception too. I don't know if this is a good character build. Sue me. And then now we need to pick our abilities. We're going to do scholarship. It's kind of like persuasion, debate, influencing people. And then we'll do firearms for sure. And then finally we'll do subterfuge and some intimidation. Again, don't know if this is good. Hopefully it doesn't matter. Or hopefully we can get around it. For disciplines, I honestly don't remember. You just get like special ones based off your clan. So you get your own unique set. I'm going to do aspects. Just seems like it lets us detect stuff in the darkness and... It can reveal the auras of people. I don't. Sounds cool. Sure. Yeah, that looks good. Our stats: five in persuasion, three in seduction, two in intimidate, three in range. So maybe we'll be, you know, pretty decent with guns. Looks good to me. We just need a name, which is the hardest part of any character creator of all time. 
Our name will be Lucian. After a very famous scary man wearing black robes. I want to show you something. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Grip. We hardly knew ye. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! These cameras. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Oh man, these uh that scenes are pretty hard to watch. <laughs> it's such a cool opening scene, but the way it kept jumping and like stuttering and their You're eyes were all weird. Tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica, there, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. A longer intro, but very important. to sort of set the stage and the stakes of this game. It's, uh... 
Uf. <laughs> what a scene, man. Hooey. <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, kiddo. It's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? And who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out. Okay, I could use the help. I haven't played this game for a very long time. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Yeah, let's get away from that horrible place. <laughs> Rice it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? A drink of what? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne. Blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. What do I need to do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> So what do I, I mean, uh... Alright. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on them. Then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. It's been one of those nights I could use a drink. Now go for it. Be sure though, and this is important so listen up. Be sure not to train them dry, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. All right, this is our blood pool. Okay, so it's like our health. So something you notice really quickly about this game is the voice acting cast is pretty like pretty insane. And I think it's because a lot of them, the voice actors that recorded for this weren't as well known at the time, like this guy is the guy who voices, you know, Jake in Adventure Time and uh, Bender from Futurama. Voices like everything. And he's just in this game randomly. And there's quite a few voice actors and actresses in this that are, you know, you don't really see in video games anymore because they got popular on TV and whatnot. P.S. Yes, let's suck some blood. Push F to eat, people. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to kill him, right? Otherwise, we'll get our head chopped off. I'm done. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. Great. When do I get my cape and do I get to pick the color? All right, now. You got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like what? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating... And if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So I get to live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. <laughs> oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Got it. <laughs> okay, now. What the fuck is this? No, you get inside here and head upstairs. Beat up a bit. I'm just gonna go see what the fuck this is. You do that? Yeah, let me know how the audio is because this game is really hard to adjust audio wise. 
because it's all, like I said, just one giant slider. You can pick up stuff. It's all just one giant slider, so it's like, the game's too loud, but the voices are too quiet, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Jump in this game? Talk about a game ahead of its time. Okay, lockpick. Never get enough of that in video games. How'd you get here? Stay away from the windows! Oh, it's a Sabat raid. A Sabat? They're, uh... Ah, Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, a Sabat? Well, uh, They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? Not like us, though. The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What is the Prince a Prince of? No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. A werewolf? Out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Got it, boss. Um, those are some high, high resolution fingers you got there. <laughs> How do you keep beating me? Can you teleport? Is that your special ability? Uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I had my moments. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, Take notes for those Sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Wait, I've still got that list of people from high school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans <laughs> see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento and it's... And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Ah, I get it. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. What do you mean? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. <sighs> They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Uh, they're the good guys? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. Alright, so what do we do right, now? Now, don't worry, because I know the area a little bit. So what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. What does that mean? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. Unlock. There we go. Chop shop key. A wallet with zero. Oh no, that's mine. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm going to check out things from topside. Gotcha. Apparently everyone in that clan is the same person. <laughs> Hopefully we get to do cool stuff like that. Blue bar is your health. That's different. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey. Look at them potholes! Also close up soon enough. Better feed, though. 
There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but it'll do. What's the difference? Blood's blood, right? When it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Let's say I get a little overzealous. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? What does that mean? The beast? It's always there. It's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So I can't kill anyone? That seems a little, uh, restricting. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. <laughs> Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> the only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Dana. Dana, Dana. Dana. Oh, he just does not care about us, huh? Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> not quite as good, huh? Eh, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Ugh. I think I got some threads beneath my teeth. Well, give it a try. Game just told me people don't like it when they see you sucking on rat's blood. Like, yep. <laughs> I wouldn't think not. <laughs> that was gross. Why'd you make me do that? <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> Hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. After tasting one of those, I don't blame him. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Just one guy? Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Mm, sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows, and don't let him see you. All right, go. Maybe we should have leveled up sneaking, huh? Be very, very quiet. And we were detected. Well, uh, at least they give you some chances, I guess. Now. Alright, we did it. We beat the tutorial sneak level. Keep it quiet, they're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded too. Go take care of him. Don't worry, he's probably greener than you. That's pretty green. The Safat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous training program. In fact, that poor Sod is lucky if he knows he's a vampire. Yeah, how can that be? He's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. <laughs> Sounds good, I've got a little frustration I need to work out. He is a vampire, so be ready. I was born ready. Yeah. Need to equip your fists. <laughs> yes, I hate when I unequip my fists and then I can't fight people. It makes it hard. Ow! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
That wasn't too bad. Pick up his tire iron. Did it. That sounds like you got another pack moving in though. The Saban are going all out. You better head underground. Avoid straight bullets. Sounds like a good plan. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Ladders are for chumps. Yeah, those are some nice looking barrels there, huh? <laughs> Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. Just my luck. Alright, so we just unlocked our powers. That'll be fun. We just failed the lockpick, come on. Are we not supposed to go that way? Do <laughs> you have to use my blood ability? Let's me lockpick better. No. <laughs> what? Am I stupid? Sir, I... Go on ahead, just keep it down. I, I can't lockpick. Alright, maybe I need to use blood buff. There we go. That's using the old noggin. Stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. We've come to an elevator around the way. I'll meet you over there. Meet you there. Don't let him catch you. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, call the president. The humor of this game is definitely something. <laughs> Use presents to frighten and kill the guy ahead. Okay. Hey, it said you'd be frightened. You're not frightened. Stop blocking, what the? Get out of here. Blocking in my video games. Might as well be cheating. That's why I don't play Dark Souls. I'm not very good at uh, parrying or blocking. Super speed. I think the combat picks up more, but eventually you kind of have to use guns at some point. Huh? Go get it, boy. No. Fetch. Huh? All right. <laughs> Stupid animal. Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Ah oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. So what do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in and it'll take down a human. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still. A kindred's got to keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. <laughs> Useless against vampires? Well, yeah, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I gotta make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Yeah, sure, that's convenient. There we go. 
I just tried to aim, and that's not a thing in this game. Because that uses your blood power, so... Now we're out of blood power, hopefully we don't need it. Uh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I think it's because we ran out of a uh, blood powder power. <laughs> uh, sick reloading animation. <laughs> yeah, I just went in a frenzy. That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it. It's all over. Till the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all that and so on and so on and so on. I'm already getting a headache. Well, to be honest, you came at a well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Now, in LA, these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, oh, hell, he'll figure it all out. I wouldn't count on it. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's his bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> Now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Two experience points. That's a lot. It's not a lot, but it's not enough to buy anything. That's for sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a fancy little apartment. With a blood bag. Guess we'll take those. Nice clean stove, some pizzas. Man, this guy set us up nice. A toilet watch. Pills. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave this to guide you. Dark blood are curse, a light in this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I drop you an email with my address. Come over after you get settled. 100 bucks, cool. Our curio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time. Penis enlargement. Watch the girls come running. Call today. All right. Save that one. Looking for that lazy ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments? How about that jerk who nodded you up? Knocked you up. Look no further with Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing crime putter. You can find almost anyone with the with a record, and these days, that's just about everyone. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If we've got if you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him. All right, delete that. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm looking to pick up explosives right now. Some Astrolite. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number four. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. Okay. The game begins. The pond is moved. Yes. Who's the pawn, though? It's the guy who calls other people pawns, probably. Can we... Can we look at our guy? No. This seems like a good place to stop. We didn't do a lot, but the introduction's all there. We learned how to play the game. This is just one of those games where if you can get past the jank, you can tell that it's a really, really well-made game. You know, the dialogue's good, besides the ones for my character that kind of sucked. But the other characters are great, and, you know, we've only met two, maybe three. They're all pretty, pretty great, and that's what I do remember about this game, is the characters super interesting and super cool and it makes you want to talk to them there's not a lot of npcs you can actually talk to for like an rpg game but the ones that you can are super super interesting so yeah if you enjoyed the game as always leave a like comment 
you know, if you hated it, tell me too. You know, it's some people don't like this game. It's old. I don't know. There are lots of reasons people don't like games. So if you don't like it, let me know. And then, like I said, I want this to be a series of different games that that I play and try out to sort of, I don't know, like recapture some nostalgia, try games I never would normally play. And then, like I said, if it gets popular enough and, and enough people want to see it, you know, I could turn this into a series because so far this game's fun. It reminds me a lot playing it as a kid. But other than that, thanks for watching and good evening.